Semper Fi, everyone. Welcome to the latest installment of Recon Jack. I'm your host, U.S. Marine veteran and historian, Chuck Lynch. On today's episode, I'll conclude this three-part series with the aftermath of the Battle of Bellow Wood. Following the battle's end, in honor of the Marines' tremendous and unrelenting perseverance under fire, the French government renames the wood Bage de la Brigade de Marine, which aptly translates to Wood of the Marine Brigade. The French would also later award the 5th and 6th Marine Regiments with the Croix de Guerre. Marines who are actively serving with the 5th and 6th Marine Regiments are authorized to wear the French foyage on their left shoulder of their dress and service uniform jackets to recognize the legacy and valor of their regimental predecessors. Commander of the American Expeditionary Forces in France, General John J. Blackjack Pershing himself makes the bold statement, the deadliest weapon in the world is a United States Marine and his rifle. General Pershing is also quoted to mention the Battle of Bella Wood was for the U.S. the biggest battle since Appomattox and the most considerable engagement American troops had ever had with a foreign enemy. An official German after action report classifies the Marines as vigorous, self-confident and remarkable marksmen. Marine Corps lore and legend states that the Germans use the term Tufelhunde, meaning devil dogs, for the Marines who valiantly fought at Bella Wood. However, this is not completely confirmed as the term was not known commonly in contemporary German. The closest common German term is Hollenhunde, which translates to hellhound. Nevertheless, 10 years following the battle, Lieutenant Colonel Ernst Odo from the historical section of the German army wrote this of the Marine Corps. Their fiery advance and great tenacity were well organized by their opponents. White crosses and stars of David mark 2,289 graves, 250 for unknown service members, and the names of 1,060 missing men adorn the wall of a memorial chapel. A nearby German cemetery where 8,625 Five men are buried, 4,321 of them, with 3,847 names unknown, rest in a common grave. The cemetery is established in March 1922, consolidating a number of temporary sites and includes men killed in other battles during 1918, along with 70 men who died in 1914 in the First Battle of the Marne. In June 1923, the Marine Band performs a new march titled Bella Wood for the first time during the annual Bella Wood anniversary celebration. Composed by then second leader Taylor Branson, who will later lead the Marine Band from 1927 to 1940, it is dedicated in honor of Army Major General James G. Harbord, who commanded the 4th Marine Brigade under the U.S. Army's 2nd Infantry Division during this battle. That July, Bella Wood is dedicated as an American battle monument, with Major General Harbord attending the event and being proclaimed an honorary Marine. In his address, he summed up the future for the site. Now and then, a veteran, for the brief span that he will survive, will come here to live again the brave days of that distant June. Here will be raised the altars of patriotism. Here will be renewed the vows of sacrifice and consecration to country. Hither will come our countrymen in hours of depression and even of failure and take new courage from this shrine of great deeds. On 18 November 19, 1955, a black marble monolith with a bronze relief of a fighting marine simply entitled the Marine Memorial is dedicated at a road clearing near the site of the battle. The monument was sculpted by Felix de Weldon, the artist who also formed the Marine Corps War Memorial near Washington, D.C. The memorial honors the brave fighting men of the 4th Marine Brigade for their actions during June 1918 and is the only memorial in Europe dedicated solely to the United States Marine Corps. Below the statue is a commemorative plaque with Eagle Globe and Anchor, which includes a brief history of the Battle of Bella Wood in both English and French. Officiating at the monument's dedication ceremony was then Commandant of the Marine Corps, General Lemuel C. Shepard Jr., who fought and was wounded twice during the Battle of Bella Wood. 37 years later, he is awarded the Army Distinguished Service Cross as well as the Navy Cross for his gallantry in action 
during the battle. In New York City, a small triangle of ground at an intersection of 108th Street and 51st Avenue in Queens is dedicated to Marine Private William F. Moore, 47th Company, 2nd Battalion, 5th Marine Regiment. In Boston, a square at the intersection of East Street and 6th Avenue in South Boston is dedicated to Marine Private Thomas Henry Joyce, 47th Company, 3rd Battalion, 5th Marine Regiment. Joyce was posthumously awarded the Croix de Guerre with Bronze Star for his actions at Bella Wood. A most audacious Liaison agent killed on the night of June 24th, 1918, after having on five successive occasions carried messages to the company post command under violent fire of machine guns and artillery. I hope you enjoyed today's conclusion of the Battle of Bella Wood, and perhaps you've also learned something new. Please stay tuned for more episodes of Recon Jack as I continue to explore the hallowed history, traditions, and individuals of the United States Marine Corps. Feel free to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment. I certainly enjoy interacting with you folks. Also, be sure to tell a friend or family member. And until next time, Semper Fi and carry on.